today we're talking about one of the most diverse details you could add to your 3D models, chains. <laughs> Whether you're designing sleek jewelry, adding a gritty detail to your miniature, or adding some mobility to a flexi, chains bring a bunch of personality, realism, and functionality to your projects. And today, I'm showing you how to make chains in Nomad Sculpt and adapt the same technique to three totally different use cases. So grab your stylus, fire up Nomad Sculpt, and let's get started. So let's open up Nomad Sculpt and let's delete our spear. Now we're just gonna go and we're going to add a torus. We're gonna take that torus and we're gonna modify it to be the shape of a chain link. Once we get the shape we like, we're going to duplicate the chain link and turn it 90 degrees. Now once we're happy with that, we're going to do a voxel remesh and merge these two items together. Now we're going to go in and we're going to add a repeater and a curved version of that. And as you can see, it made a duplicate of the two chain links. So now we can go up here and we could change the count. And now all we need to do is we create some pivot points and we could stretch out our chain and this will give us the ability to make a necklace or a bracelet or any other type of jewelry you would want to create. Now our second use is in our miniatures. We just opened our goblin head and we added a torus. Now we're just going to take that torus and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to modify it. And we're going to connect it to the goblin's ear as an earring. Now you can make this as a necklace or any other chain item. Like you can make it the chain on, um, let's say, a morning star if you were making a weapon. But we're just using it as jewelry on this goblin. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to clone the uh, torus that we just made, the chain link we just made. And then we're going to do a voxel remesh of the two chain links. And we're going to just add a repeater, which is a curve. And we're just going to create the chain and make this chain part of his jewelry. And as you can see here, we're giving him a really 1990s feel where we're connecting his earring to his nose ring. What a way to go into battle as a goblin, huh? We're just going to open up a new project. We're going to create our torus and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat our chain link. But in this case, we're going to add two spears. Now, this is one way you can make a flexi. Normally, I would run that first chain link into the second spear and not have these two chain links. But I'm just showing you a way you could actually go and connect these. And once we've put in um, four chain links and the two spears together, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to do a voxel remesh. And once everything's remeshed in one unit, we're going to, uh, oop, and as you can see here, I had my uh, spear the wrong orientation. So they just stacked on top of each other. So I'm just going to undo what I did, rotate my um, crappy dragon flexi that I'm creating here. And basically now I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to add the repeater with the curve and now they'll be in the correct place. And as you can see, we have sort of a chain link with the uh, spears in it. This would sort of work as um, a flexi. Like I said, if I was making a real flexi, I would just have the one chain link in the center of each spear, uh, not two of them connected together with some... Um, space in there and I'll do another tutorial on how to do that. And that's how you use Nomad Sculpt to create chains for almost anything. From stylish 3D printing and jewelry to miniatures to flexies. Chains are simple once you know the simple trick of using repeaters and the curve mechanism. They open a wide range of creative possibilities. For more on 3D printing, 3D modeling, DIY and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It and remember, keep on making. Thank <laughs> you.